friends. I'm sorry that we're in this current time that we're in. It's hard on everybody, and I'm sending love and hugs and squeezes and happy thoughts and whatever it is you need to feel better about this crazy time. Parents, I'm going to talk to you first. Families, listen to me. You do not have to be a teacher, okay? I want you to think about what the experts say. And then if even that's too much, then you change it to make it work for you, okay? Teachers and educators are not trying to drive you and your families over the edge mentally. So here's what the experts say. Kids need to be read to. You can do that. Some of you probably already do that. If you're a working parent, working partner, family, then somebody in the family can read. Or somebody can make sure that the little people in your family get a chance to look at Storyline Online or Epic Books. There are places where your children can be read to, okay? The experts say, I'm talking about Dr. Richard Allington, kids should be read to. Kids should also read with someone. That means they can sit down literally and read picture read if they're not readers yet. They can picture read to a stuffed animal or a real pet. Or they can sit next to a sibling or a grandparent or anyone in the home. They can simply just turn pages and talk about what's in the book. Okay, so those two things. Kids should be read to. Kids should read with somebody. And then kids should be doing some reading by themselves. So reading to, with, and by. All three of those don't have to happen in a day. But what if you spread that out across a week? Does that seem manageable? Okay. Schools, again, I'm going to say this. School districts, educators, anybody who's posting online about extra help is not trying to send you over the edge. They're trying to be a good neighbor, a good community person um, during this time by sharing options. But sometimes I know it feels like too much. And I understand that. And I care for you. Um, I'm most worried about single parent family units. Dad who's working all the time and has little people he's trying to help. Let's stop putting pressure on those family members. Let's support them. So, if your kids are reading to, with, and by, that's great across a week. Let's also think about ways that you could include literacy in easy, manageable ways. Send your little people off to do some play and create a veterinary clinic with their stuffed animals or their real pets and just say to them, hey, take 15, 20 minutes to set up your veterinary clinic and then if you have a question, I can answer that question for you. Then give them a piece of paper and a pencil or a crayon and say, make sure you write good directions to the pet owners because they're going to need to know what to do to take care of their pets. If your little one gets freaked out and says, but I can't write, then say, draw them a picture. Sketch for them. Show them what you can do. Write down, draw, sketch what the pet owner can do, and then you be okay with any of it. That's called approximation, and that's okay. That's research-based, too. Give kids tape and paper and cardboard and boxes and turn them loose. Okay, that's problem solving. There's math involved in that. Reasoning, thinking, problem solving. The thing that I hope you get out of what I'm sharing with you right now is that none of this is meant to send you running, screaming from your home or feeling like a bad parent, a bad family member. Let's do this together. Let's make it simple and easy. I'll get back on tomorrow again for a little while and talk to you some more about what you can do with your littlest learners, your early elementary and upper elementary learners. But what I'm going to share with you is going to be really simple, okay, because we're not here to stress you out, okay? 
I want to be that person, that community member that cares just as much about your emotional and psychological and physical well-being as I do about whether or not your kids are completing all their assignments. All right? Take care. I'm sending hugs and even kisses long way, uh, long distance, because I care about you, and I want you to do well and be well. All right? Take care.